Rwanda is a country in transition. decade, Rwanda has focused its development agenda on moving from a low-income agricultural economy to a middle-income knowledge economy by the year 2020. Since 2005, the World Bank's eRwanda project has played a crucial catalytic role in helping Rwanda meet that goal through the innovative use of Information and Communication Technology, or ICT. eRwanda balances connectivity with access and training and e-government applications to create cross-cutting development impact and foster private sector development, helping Rwanda become a center for knowledge, innovation, and technology in East Africa. E-Rwanda grew out of the country's Vision 2020 objectives, which identified ICT as a major pillar of growth and development. With a budget of only $10 million, E-Rwanda demonstrates how a small, catalytic program can play a disproportionate role in achieving development impact. E-Rwanda has taught us a lesson. Whatever it is we're doing, yeah, how can we build in where ICT can leverage impact? Information and communication technology um, for a country like Rwanda is a must. We have, uh, from early on, identified it as one of our top priorities. There was a, a sense of urgency from the, uh, from the word go, from the very first day. As our president likes to say, Rwanda is a country in a hurry. Establishing nationwide connectivity is the foundation upon which eRwanda's other elements are built. The project worked with the government and the World Bank's Regional Communications Infrastructure Program to complete the country's 2,500 kilometer fiber optic network. This was uh, a challenge for us to, to, to bring broadband everywhere in the country because the East African region, including Rwanda, was almost the only part remaining in the world that was not also connected to the submarine cables. So it was decided to build broadband networks in every country in East Africa, including Rwanda, uh, which we, we, we actually did, constructing fiber infrastructure, linking all the parts of the country and, 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 and the borders so that we could get interconnectivity with our neighbors and also interconnectivity to the world. E-Rwanda's access and training component recognizes that ICT development is as much about capacity building as it is about connectivity. While the national network was being developed, eRwanda was preparing to link it to telecenters in each of the country's 30 districts. These centers provide access to high-speed internet, as well as training in ICT applications. At the very beginning, you can see that eRwanda focus on bringing ICT closer to the community. Because when you look to the structure of those telecenters, they are not just centers where you access information, but they serve also as training center, where soft skills like uh, entrepreneurship, project design, project management can be delivered through telecenters. But we also realize that we have a lot of areas in some of these districts that don't have electricity. So that problem gave birth to a new and um, innovative idea that we call the ICT bus. The idea for the ICT bus came about to bring the digital divide to the rural remoteness uh, and where people are in really need of the ICT services. Most of them, when, once they come to this training, it's their first time to touch a computer. Many of them are here to learn basic usage of ICT so that when they go back to their home, this should be uh, something that ticker their mind and allow them to uh, think that in the future they could have their own laptops connected to the internet and therefore slowly but surely these people can be able to uh, eliminate their poverty.